what kind of shape is that? That's right, it's a parallelogram because we have parallel lines, boom, 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 boom. But just because you know what type of shape we're working with, does that mean that you know how to find missing values? Let's do a little bit of algebra. I wanna know how tall the parallelogram is, meaning I need to know from the bottom to the top what the height is. Now, we are given an area, we are given a base. We are given those two values. When given those two values, we're in luck because we can find the height very quickly. Let me show you exactly how to do that. Pay close attention. Area equals base times height. That is our formula for the area of a parallelogram. So if we know what the A is, we know the area is 78 inches squared. We can put that down. 78 equals B times H. Out of these two, which one do we know? We know the base. The base is 12. So we're going to put equals 12 times H. Now in algebra, we no longer put the dot here, so we just put a 12 next to an H. We call the 12 a coefficient. So I'm going to rewrite that so you guys can see what it's going to look like in your classrooms and in your textbooks. That would look just like that, 12H, which means 12 times H. If I want to get rid of that 12, there's a couple of ways I can do that. I can use inverse operation, and sometimes you might be able to mentally just figure it out. 12 times what equals 78? But if you don't know how to mentally do it, use inverse operations. Opposite of multiplying is dividing, cancels. 78 divided by 12 will give you 6.5. And now we know what H is. Our height is 6.5 inches. So you could go back into the problem and label it with a given value. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test. You got this.